laughing your ass off yeah. at my team. There's all and the shut up. Hey, look, he's a luck. He's in your team. He's a luck. Uh, yeah. He's a luck. He's a luck. He's a luck. He's a luck. You don't even have the fog. Did you not learn your lesson last? Yeah, he also got five saying that he's going to become a full time midfielder. Nice hair, by the way. And I think it's there. Hey, three games. Now, we said that last year. You know why? He's a year younger. He's a year older. He broke down last have year. He's always huge. They're always huge. Have you seen him, though? Say it like that. You've got, you got to read at F2. My read is at F5. There is a stark difference in our forward line. A huge difference in no, our forward not, line. My forward line will smash your forward line spaces, so you're. <laughs> yeah, mate, why do you smell so bad? Hurry the f up. Shut the f up. Welcome back to Super Gears Masters. Thanks for joining me and Stinky Maddie on another Super Coach episode. If you're still tuning in about this part of the year, Maddie, you must be doing relatively good because a lot of the people who've been, the ones that have been doing shit, have been slowly tapering off. Speaking of doing shit and tapering off, how are you going? Champ, I went up 2,000 rank this week, so I'm not tapering off at all. Champ, I'm coming in strong, more premiums than you, and you've got just the same as trades as me, Champ. How did you go? I scored better than you. Uh, Chad, how many so how many more trades are you going to sideways trades until you realise you're going to be out of trades? Did you just trade out McRae? Chad McRae is not a sideways. He's a dud. He's not even averaging anything. Okay, he buddy. Is, uh, who did I sideways? He was a money. Who did I sideways? Petrarca and Stewart. Okay, so Petrarca is injured. You understand that? And Stewart is shit. So many, so many sideways. Anyway, guys, <laughs> welcome back. Thanks for joining me and Maddie, despite the smell. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> despite the smell. Maddie getting a 2053 and me a 2076. Maddie, not as happy. It's been a couple of weeks now since score. you've pretty, outscored me. I'm pretty happy. I'm on top of the ladder in my catch league, and that's fine. You're on top of the ladder in total points. Jordy, like I said, how many more sideways trades? Are you going to trade out Dawson? We'll talk about that. Mm. Is Jordy going to trade out Dawson? We'll talk about that. Hey, should you talk trade out Dawson? We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about that. that Jack Steele. You can trade out Jack Steele. Oh, I think I'm good. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. But Maddie, what are we really talking about? We are talking about, first of all, where can we find the shit? Maddie, stupid... you can find us on Twitter, you, X now, um, Spotify, it's been YouTube, X for a long time, and but anyway. Facebook. Shut up, champ. And uh, if you are on Spotify, come over to YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, go <laughs> Spotify. Give us a subscribe Give us five, and five stars. Five stars and a follow. Please, thank you very much. Let's get it. Oh, let's get these uh, coffee shouts for the Six Cent Hall of Fame out of the way, Jules. Who is on the boo? Maddie, Duck. guess who is on the board? Can you, can you guess who's on the board? I because mean, you know, if it's not CJ, and if it's not Wahab, I really want to. Well, Maddie, it is a week of the taggers, so but no one's tagging <laughs> Wahab yeah. and no one's tagging CJ. That's so true. let's start off with the big. Wahabaruni. What is the Wahabaruni? Let me guess, champ. I bet you there's some sports bet stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, there is. Is there? Wahab says, I think I've broken the record for how many multis you can, <laughs> <laughs> you can fail by one leg disposal goal point. Rebound assist and absolutely every wow. F and stat. Glad the shittiest buy is over. What do we do with duds like Tom Green? Oh, Thomas Green. I reckon if you put the bloke in the middle of an Orange pool, he'll still miss the pool with a handball. Because Orange is the team of the team that he plays for. Good one, right, Gahab. But um, what are we doing with Tom Green? Are you just happy to let him stew in the shit that is Tom he Green? He's becoming almost the second shittest player. I think he could be the second shittest player on my field after this week's race. I think he's he's almost. The, he's so like he got thirty touches. He got the win. Is in the Giants. What are we doing with Tom Green? I think I don't. Th I think we're ignoring him. Mm. I think we like it's, <laughs> it's, it's been he's almost shitter than Clary oh, so. no. it, it, we're ignoring him as far as why aren't we trading why aren't we talking about it because we, we just assume that his Tom Green's going to come he's good he's going to come good and we don't really talk about it. maybe it is a talking point once I think you get your full team I think ready. there is some teams out there that are full primo right now with about you know on four or five trades they've been a bit lucky with injuries not me Matt Cratch Petrarca Stewart's pretty much an injury so with those kind of players if you've got a full team right now and you've got some Get rid of him, why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Or at least maybe get someone else on the bench that can score better than him and then he Do might a bit come of good and, you know. Well, I wouldn't mind if you had a Rosie, even though how shitty, we will talk about Rosie as well, yeah. and you're doing loopholes with Rosie and Green for the rest of the year. That's, That's kind of like one full premium there. It kind of is. It's you're, point, you, you're probably going to get an 80. Point three and you've got a <laughs> loophole, you know. So, yeah, look, we'll probably keep him because, well, Harbour, I know we'll you're, probably, that, you're an though, impulsive man and you probably trade, use a lot of fair trades like us and you don't have many left, so we just keep him the piece of shit. So, CJ, no tag on CJ either. He's like lads. All right, score for him this week. He scored more than you. Um, traded out Laird and 
No, we didn't. Lead <laughs> and the piece of shit gets 141 oh. points. Now, CJ, <laughs> I told you not to trade him out. So I know you're going to ask for advice that you're not going to take my advice, but we'll, we'll hand over to Maddie since he's handed on your team. So do oh. I side away steal to merit this week? And also, who would be good rookie wise to bring in this week? Keep the laughs rolling and enjoy the coffees. Thank yeah, you I so like, much, CJ. I like steal out. I think steal for merit or steal for Walsh or steal for Yo or steal for someone else. But, um, too bad you can't get Stu for lead because he's on fire at the moment. Um. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Matty? I'm going to ask you a question. Dawson and Steele, say you have both of them in your team. Jesus. Who would you be more inclined to get rid of first? They both had the buy this week. Steele's been underperforming now and there's a reason to believe Dawson will be underperforming in the future, which we'll get to in a minute because he's got a pretty tough... Three well, or let's four get weeks. To, let's get to that segment with Steel. But we will. We'll get to that. But um, we'll get back to that because we've got one more coffee. But just like the year he's having in the Cash League, Docky Boy has had an incredible year on the Kickstart Hall of Fame. He sure has. And he's got two coffees, legends. As always, it's, is it time to strategize trades? And how many trades should we have post the buys, Matt Zeeps? Full primo assumed. A full primo team. We've got a full primo team. You should have at least four to six trades left. After a full primo team, yeah. yeah, that's that's ideal. That's ideal. So uh... I, I know you're not in that boat. I know you're not. <laughs> that's not I, ideal. I'm, I'm in that boat, but you're not. Champ, just go fuck yourself. How about that? I see. Well, I'm just saying it's not. It's ideal, Jordy. You're not in that ideal situation. Yeah, you're yeah. scoring twenty points more. Champ, than Champ, if you're counting Powell as a premium, he's not a premium. He's not on my team. Okay, but Champ, he's in your team this no, week he's before not. you made your trade. He's You've gone. got Powell. You got your thirty-seven. And he's as shit and as stinky as you. And he's Docky my, Boy, I reckon he, about three he's trades. Not even a, he's, he's not even a pre, he's a money maker. He made me money. You had him too, and he made you money. Yeah, but you I got rid of him before the 37. Yes, but he, he didn't count to my score. <laughs> Matty, how's McCray got? Now, he's Docky Boy. Him last week. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you have three trades. If you've got full premium and you've got three trades for injury. You sit back, you let your premiums do the job, you've got three mm. trades for injury, and that's it. Now, look <laughs> at the Kickstarter Hall of Fame, guys. Let's look at it. Just Nick, look at it. Wearing that beanie, champ, if you don't have a beanie and it's this cold, what are you doing? What's the point? What's the, what's the point? What's the point in life? So Maddie doesn't have a beanie on and he's severely regretting it. Go down to the store, get yourself a beanie. I'm severely regretting <laughs> it. Look at him. Look at so him, I'll shivering in his so, booties. Ooh, well, champ, he's talking about shivering. Jordy has done me the honour of I'm pouring dead. me some eaves. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to make a homophobic slur, but you guys get the point. So let's drink this. <laughs> you pretty much just did. This is a blue tea Maddie's drinking. It's actually called uh, Blue Butterfly Pea Flower Tea. Okay. And, I, and I'm not homophobic with a name like that. All right, guys. I didn't make up the name for it. Jordy's like, yeah, I'm only going to buy you a little bit. I'm only going to see it because it's really expensive. <laughs> it's not. I just didn't want you to waste my blue tea. <laughs> Drink okay, what, what's your thoughts, Champ? You had the, the blue tea. Champ, it's tea. Why does it need to be blue? It tastes like nothing else. It's because it's the rye from the flower is the blue butterfly pea flower, which is blue. Do you really think in... The ingredients, there's not color dye 17 blue. I think there is no ingredients, it is a flower that you put in a strainer. That's it's what not... they want you to think, champ. That's what they want. So, you what to do think. you think? The people want to know what you champ. That flower is amazing, guys. Please get that butterfly blue. But I'll ask you, Eric, you put tea. The, the, cu the cure for the cure for bronchitis, <laughs> Eric, well, you, Eric, you put tea. <laughs> You're still uh, drinking it. I'm just thinking. You know, yeah. No, guys, hey, Maddie I, actually said, can you pour me some blue tea before the podcast today so I can bag it? I did. And this is like, yeah, I'm like, more I want to find him. Like, you haven't even tried it and you're going to bag it. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, All That's right, the whole point. That's the whole point of board. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Champ, what's next? Anyway. Champ, how was the best game around? Come back, final nine goals. Kyler comes back. Bobby Hill kicks five. That was so good. Did you like that game? Did you watch it? I actually wanted Fisher to kick the yeah, ball. I, I knew. I said that to Jamie. I go, Jamie, I bet you that fucking idiot Jordy it would, would would have loved Fisher to kick that winning goal. I would have loved it. And he breaks for Collingwood. I do. Just but, just for Fisher to get like an, a ninety two instead of a seventy one. Would have been great, guys. Would have been great. Hit the post, you're a scumbag. Champ, it's fish. You're a scumbag. I mean, scumbag. It's, you can say something, selfish. But I, okay, selfish, I, I, selfish. I got number one. I'm a Jordy. Super coach team supporter, number two Collingwood supporter. Wow. I want the super coach team to do better before the Collingwood. Fo I don't give a fuck about the, a bunch of Collingwood players I've never met before. I care about the players in my team I've never met before. Champ, two of those players in the Collingwood team have pretty much got your blood. Okay, and yeah. when's the last time they spoke to me? Ah, it doesn't matter. When's the last time you spoke to me, Nick and Josh? <laughs> I spoke anyway. to your dad more than you guys. That's right. Let's go. All What's right. next? 
Now, let's get to the questions. Chaps, read them out. Because I know there's some questions in there that... I'm in a good mood to answer some really... Why are you in a good mood? I was outscored you. Champ, my, my, my life isn't about if I outscore you or not. You, literally, that, that, you, not literally, you literally said it was two weeks ago. No, I said I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy all right, yes. okay, now shut up, Maddie. Um, Vinny Vincent, Vincenzo has got a question. My boy, Vinny Vincent. Maddie, is it worth conserving your trades and having to hold on to the end of the couple of rookies in your starting lineup? What do you think? No. No. I, I don't want a full primo team. I don't want to fight at one any rookies in my last starting line. Really Dan, nice. look at the Dan. Fuck yourself. Dan says, full team with six trades left. Can I hang on to a finals? Oh, come on, Dan. Dan you're right. just fucking pumping up your own yeah, tyres, no, Dan. Look at him. Fuck it now. he has got three. Hasn't even, how many trades you got left? Suck my. Yeah, suck my. <laughs> suck my. Mikey Matheson says, is lead a flight risk? A, f- a flight risk? I don't know. Is he a risk? Is, is lead a risk? No, not got, got the there's, not, there's not that many. Can great... we get some good questions, guys? Davo says, "Do we dump steel for merit or butters?" Oh, Davo, oh, it'd have to be for merit. He's got West merit. Coast, and butters has a couple of strong tags coming up, and his break even's huge. huge. He's got a camera for seven. Huge. So that's a merit, and yes, you can dump steel. Um, I prefer to dump Dawson over steel right now, to be perfectly honest. They're both not. Merit or butters? Merit already answered that, Adam. Who has the better run home? Merit. Uh, just a shout out to Maddie Gazebs. Met him in the gym. Oh, it's a different Vinny. Vinny. So this Vinny. Oh, champ. I rocked up to the gym the other day. Listen to this story. So I just rocked up to the gym, just sit on the chest press and everything. This guy just. This guy's he's, massive. This guy's huge. He just, I'm he looking look, at his profile picture. He looked like Macaulay. Like he's Italian. Like Macaulay, but he's this big, muscly dude. He just comes up to me. He's like, super coach? Oh, hey. Hey, bro. <laughs> Don't hit me. <laughs> but anyway, we started talking. It was really nice. And um, yeah, good chat. He's doing really well as well in super coach. So. Shout out to Vinny. Yeah, he's huge. Um, I'm just looking at it. I'm just stalking you now, Vinny. Stalking you now. Do you have a sister called Yvette? Uh, same last name. Uh, just a shout out to Maddie because he's been in the gym. Great hum- humble fa- That's humble, humble fellow. He doesn't know me, champ. He just met me. Of course I'm going to be humble. Like, he doesn't know me. He's me. Vinny. Eric Kippel. <laughs> he ain't humble. <laughs> he ain't humble. That's for sure. It has to be... Now, Nathan wants to go... It says... Fuck, I can't even talk. It has to be time to go kapow on the North Melbourne frog known as Tommy Power, Maddie's boy. Oh, yeah, you need to get rid of him right now. <laughs> After that 37 jab, there's no chance he's going to spin Now, him. I thought, you know, North I mean, Melbourne winning by 52 points, power's got to be contributing. Yeah, Jordy was being a smart ass, spoke to me. He's like, oh, wow, look at that. They're up by nine goals. I'm sure power will be killing it. And you know very damn what he was <laughs> I like, know very well he wasn't. Uh, it's stupid power. Sean wants to know, Maddie, why do we torture ourselves playing this shit game? One week we look like geniuses, next week we look like rookies. That's, you, you can kind it's of. Called, it's called luck, champ. It's just called luck. Like, yeah. You know, it's luck like picking power. Now, Paul, you, Paul you had him in your Matty, team. Matty, Paul, he wants to ask a question. Is Crisp a choice after his buy? So Has mid defense And now option. he's coming back to horn everyone. Crisp has been on fire since I've said something about him. Also, LDU has a strong, uh, it has to, seems to look like he's having a strong run home. Well, he's very expensive now. He's over 600K now, but yeah. Crisp, I don't like. Yeah. Eventually, Tom Mitchell and Dugowie are going to come back in. Crisp is on fire. I think there's Houston's out there. There's still Dacos and Sheasels and Ryans that are going to come down in price. And then you've got Bailey Dale and Whitfield's like... Jordy Clarks. I don't want to get... Jordy Clarks It's a good point of difference, champ. You've got to think it's on the box. Massive point of difference. But, you know, if it's I a... Cri- picked him up if it's a Chris it. versus a, like, a, you know, a champ, Ryan. He hasn't, he hasn't scored shit, champ. You look at his numbers. They're but pretty, I think that impressive. his role will when his role changes when the Collingwood boys come back. Well, yeah, who knows? If they ever will. If they ever will. Now, Maddie, Corey wants to ask you a question. What's your boys' tips for this Friday's night primetime EDFL third's best game of the round? His boys, the Roxbury Park or the Northern Saints? Corey, let me tell you something. Corey, I've got to, I gotta, I gotta tell you right now. No, let me tell you. Okay. Listen, those Roxbury Park boys, they kicked six goals and 16 points on the weekend. Now, if you guys, if you guys kick straight this week, I think you're in for a chance, but you're both coming off a loss. So let's go to the Roxborough boys. How do you know that? Because I looked it up. I knew it was going to be a shit question, and I had to check him out. So that's for you, Corey. Well, my, my thoughts is not as in-depth as that. I just think, you know, if Roxbury Park must be kids from Roxy in there, that seems like, you know, pretty ship blokes. So, no, they kicked um, six goals. Both of the teams came off a loss. Northern Saints, you know, I can get behind that. They seem like good blokes. Roxy... Roxy boys, nah. The Roxy boy. Go gonna... Northern Saints. Sorry, Corey. Nah, uh, Corey, good kebabs <laughs> at Roxy, so we'll uh, stick to that. Now, probably the smartest question where we got so far, Christopher says, is Carl Warner a decent downgrade option? Yes. Yes, he is. Maybe. We'll get, we're going to do a live, in-depth analysis on with the Warner at the Fremantle Club <laughs> and how this... He's played two games, but a live in It's, it's going to be pretty in-depth, guys. Okay. Fucking... Jordy, Jordy doesn't like him, I like him. All right, we're talking about Tom Green already. Uh, when I go to the toilet to lay some cable, I officially let 
the wife tell the wife I'm off to do a Tom Green yet. That okay. is a great statement. See, guys, I don't even know what I'm reading when I'm reading these questions. Know. I only read the first Corey one because it was the first one that I All right, Matt, this is a good what if. I love these kind of questions, Matt. Uh, Whitfield and Nick Martin or a Merritt and a Rosie? So you got yourself a Merit Whitfield and, Rosie. and Martin or a Merritt, Merritt and, and Rosie? Rosie. Hands down. But Rose is pretty shit. Yes, but he's pretty cheap, but he's got potential to have a higher ceiling, and he was $600,000 at the start of the year. So mm. Whitfield, Whitfield, is... Whitfield is just as shaky as anyone out there. Oh, that, yeah, we'll go Merritt. We'll go Merritt and shitty Rosie, but I, won't, I don't want to. All right, now that we've got all the shit questions out of the way, Maddie, now we've got to speak about my agendas. Okay. And I'm going to get up for you guys this sexy little graphic I made just about my boy Dawson. And anyone else who owns this shit... Prick Dawson. No, oh, here we go, champ. Dawson, Jordy Dawson. Which... Is the worst yet to come. Now, even when he's not being tagged, you'd never know what this idiot's going to turn out. He's got the buy. So it's fair to say he's going to score a zero this week. Easily. <laughs> now, he's got the Bedford. Now, a lot of people say he's too tall for Bedford, but I think at the midfield, he's going to go with him at the midfield. And if he goes forward, which it's shown that Dawson, when he goes forward... You know, then you know, like he tries to break the tag by going forward. So they're not going to leave Bedford off him. The Bedford will be on him if he goes in the midfield, and he kind of tags himself out of the game. By going I don't forward. think the GWS game is too much of an issue for Dawson. I think, I think the next is. two games are. Well, look, if Bedford can tag him in the midfield, he's going to go forward. Who did Bedford tag last week? Butters. Butters is a little shrimp. Okay, but like that's the thing. So. Dawson was taken at Sydney by James Jordan, right? And yeah. he, he just went forward to try and break the tag. So if he's get tagged in the midfield, he's going to go forward regardless. So he, if Bedford, Barry, Windhager tag him, he's just going to go forward mm-hmm. and to try and break the tag and just be a shit forward option that kicks one goal a game. So maybe I don't think Bedford follows him in the forward line. I think he just when he's around the midfield or the wing. Me personally, Jules, I think you're overthinking it because you've got Jordan. And you've I got think there's midfield. three taggers coming up and I think they're all going to go to Dawson. Which is reason for you to trade him out to do a sideways trade again. Barry would have a tight tag on Steele. Champ, Steele's been getting 17, 20 touches for the last three weeks without Barry. And Windhager the week after. Windhager's the only scary one. Well, look, if, if it's any time to get rid of Dawson, he's got the buy. That's one plus. If to get rid of Dawson, he's got one sheet number. If you, if you got 110, would you be even having a discussion? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think so. But he didn't get 110, you know why? Because he was tagged. And he's got more tags Who tagged coming him up. This week? James Jordan tagged him this James week. James Jordan. Well, Sydney did. Sydney, Sydney champ. Sydney is Sydney champ, but that doesn't help or you know negate the argument that's happening here. All right, champ. I'll just start. I'm just, just saying, go. if I was to trade out Jordan or D- Steele, I'd be trading out Dawson before Steele, um, because how much, he spent so much time trying to go forward to break that tag despite the CBAs, and he didn't. He gets most of his scores on the wings, regardless, though. Every but all, now, all, he's, all, all now he's in the forward line most of the time. Well, maybe he starts in the midfield, then runs forward. Champ, could it, be, could it be a ranking effect? I mean, there's plenty of room for that midfield for both of these guys. But yeah. these are some scary games coming up for Dorso. They are scary games, Champ. That's maybe, what I want to talk about, Matt. Maybe you should get rid of him, Champ. Maybe you should. Oh, champ, it's not just me, Champ. It's about other people considering Dawson. And champ, not, how many people percentage have Dawson? He's highly owned. Over 20, over 20 25. That's the 30. Probably um, 25. But anyway, Champ, if you want to get rid of Dawson for the dial buy and the, the scary tags that you, you got up. Are you thinking of getting rid of Steel? Yes or no, because it just depends. So, yeah. I've, I've got 18 players playing if I don't get rid of him. you know, And one of those players on the field that I have to play is, jo- is um, Jai Clark. Oh, I like that. And then it's the second shittest is Sexton. So, you know, if... So be, I, got the, I got the nice um, Carlton-Geelong game coming up first, so I can see if Jai Clark is going to get a 30 or an 80. I, I don't, do you want me to spoil it for you? Chat, tell me, please. He gets a 40. Well, then, well, then I think I might get rid of still depending on Jai Clark's score. Um, but because he is the shittest team player in my team for this bye week, I get to see if he's going to play good or not. So, yeah, Dawson's an interesting one indeed. Uh, they, but anyway, let's talk about something else that everyone can relate to, which is the Carl Warner. Let's get up the Carl Warner graphic, Matty. Now, only rookie on the bubble that we know of at this stage of the week that's going to be making some coinage. Some great coinage. If he is named. Now, he was a late inclusion... For Heath Chapman, who had hamstring awareness. So, Chapman will come back in. It looks like from this injury list that Brennan Cox will come in. Probably for Draper. So, we are of the opinion that Brennan Cox will either have him one more week out or come in for Draper. Chapman is a like-for-like for for Warner. 
Yes. And could come in for him. However, Walters was injured on the weekend with a hamstring injury. I don't think injury. Matt Johnson's going to get another game either. Well, he was the sub, so, so. he can be the sub again. I mean, it's not going to really affect anything. Or he can make way, and another player that didn't play that great comes sub. That's not Warner or Cox or Chapman. Well, so I don't know, man. You just got to have to look at the teams. I wouldn't I think. Know, man. I, I wouldn't think it's going to be a reason not to get him is because he might not get a game. Like I think that's, that's definitely know. a reason when you're picking a rookie if you're going to pick him. But he played well. A lot of people have a dead rookie already. Yeah. Like they already have a whore or a you know fucking big new one or a, who's the shit one I got Zach Reed. Every right. Every, so they don't want two. Sh- yeah, dead but rookies. I get it. Every rookie that you put in is always a risk of getting dropped because they're breaking into the team. You know, like Shoalmakers could get dropped after he plays one shit week. Who knows, he might get dropped. Okay, but it's arguable to say that Shoalmaker, I would say... Is Champ, a, if he gets named, drop if, he's, if he gets named, are you not going to get him? Warner? Yes. There's a high chance that I might not get him regardless. Why? Because if I trade out, say, Draper to Warner, there is nowhere to trade in Shoalmaker the next week, and I think his job security is better than Warner. Do because you, because it's, it's a dead rookie. I'm not going to be trading rookie for rookie with the amount of trades we have left. And obviously, Warner's not going to make enough money in one week to trade or two weeks to trade him out. That's if he gets another game. And I like his job security more. So if you get Showmakers, mm-hmm. if you're getting Warner this week, you're probably not going to get Showmaker. And I like Showmaker a lot better. Yeah. And job security and scoring potential-wise. Mm-hmm. Now, Carl Warner, if we look at the injury list here... There's not a lot. This is devil's advocate. Not a lot coming in here except for Brendan Cox. I don't think... And Brendan Cox is a lock for lock for Draper. That's the only reason why Draper was in the first place. I agree. I agree. Um, Adriscoll's still five to six. You know, Matt Tabernard, will he get a game? No. Probably not. No. So it's really... The thing is, his job security is that bad. If there was... If, you know, if ha- there wasn't hamstring awareness to Chapman, he wouldn't have played. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of injury-prone players still in Fremantle team. And there's a lot of unperforming players that are Fremantle that's... You know, like I said, Michael Johnson, yes, he's sub. I don't think he'll get a game. Okay, so we're not going to be even talking about this. So if Warner gets a game, if Warner doesn't get a game, we won't be talking about it. So we're, no. this is assuming Warner gets a game. If Warner gets a game, he's in. Okay, but did you like his game on the weekend with his 16 touches? Yes, I did. Like his game considering they got smashed. And I like the fact that the first game that he played, he got concussed and he could have got a lot more. And that's the only reason why he was out of the team. Well, you, if that's the reason, then he would have been <laughs> named prior to hamstring awareness for the Heath Chapman. Who knows what happened in between? We didn't really follow it. Like, well, that's the thing. He was named as emergency. So he's obviously not their p- first pick to be in the team as an emergency. Mm-hmm. So even if he gets a game this week. Who knows? If, if, say, say Chapman. Say if, okay. If Chapman is named, Cox is named, and Warner is named, I think that's a lot safer to get him. Now, if he's named, then they're going to give Chapman another week or Cox isn't ready yet and he's named, I probably wouldn't get him. Cox is, Cox is a key defender and that's what Drake... But they can always move some... They got, they got no one. It's Pierce and Cox is their main two. Right now, it's Pierce and Draper, which is, as you know, being a Draper. And Alex Pierce is a tall as well. So they might That's not need point. to go. They might need to go three talls and. But Cox will take Draper's spot. It's got nothing to do with. They're two different players. Like for like, Matt Eves, but it's not always. It's not like for like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if you really love Warner, you want to suck his penis, that might think get him. But I'm just uh, saying, uh, it uh, might be worth thinking about his job security considering he was a late inclusion. Mm-hmm. Well, I think he's got potential to score 70s. Um, but, but do you like Shawmaker? Can I ask you a question? Because obviously you I got think me. his job security is way more or less without Wangani Malia. Did he play? No, he didn't. Okay. So... And but, what, he, but he, but and what's and what's the role? So you've got Bonner, you've got Sinclair that goes back. I think got, Shawmaker is obvious. I reckon he even went ahead of Bonner. I, oh no, not at the moment. No, I think so. I think he because he was always a highly touted rookie in St Kilda. Just waiting to break into the team. You broke into the team. You played a great game. He's not like a late emergency. You got called up because someone was laid out. He he debuted. He debuted. Yeah. And I think that they're going to give him more games because he played well. Okay. And now when he plays is his second totally? game. No, they lost the lines, but they came back towards the end. Yes, they did. Not, not his fault. But, um, yeah, it's Shawmaker's fault. Yeah. So, okay, if he's playing Shawmaker the week after, how are you going to get him in? You've got Hoare and Warner that's probably dropped after the one game. I think he's going to drop. But if he is, you're in trouble, right? But you, you're literally predicting... You need to kind you're of predict... Because predict- predict- you're going to have zeros on your, your bench. You're going to have no one to cover to save Bailey Dales out for one week. Like, then you're pretty fucked. Not me, but anyway. You will, because you have Hoare and Warner with oh, the no. not playing any games. No, no. But that's, I've got seven defenders. Okay, but if you've got Hall and Thingo, they can't do DPPs for a, for a Bailey Dale. 
Just can you watch? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're not saying, yeah, watch. Hall cannot move anywhere. He's just a defender. Warner can't move anywhere. He's just a defender. If Bailey Dale or Whitfield, they get injured so it's for a the week. the same argument you can have if Shawmaker gets dropped in two weeks. Okay, but Shawmaker, he's got better job security. He's not even on his bubble yet. It doesn't matter. He's we're talking about job bo- security. You know, we're not getting him to make money, are we? Because I don't we're not think gonna... John Waker's job security is more likely more than a, a Warner. Warner. No. Yeah, you're just no. a tosser. You're just a tosser. <laughs> like, you just, you, just you, you get who you want to get. Don't get Warner because it's an extra 20000 You're a tight ass you want to spend. I don't give a fuck about the money, Matty. It's about the job worry. security at this stage of the year. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I'm glad we cleared that one. <laughs> we cleared that one up, guys. So... Warner, Warner's good, guys. He's good. If, he he's, name, if he's getting named, get him. All right. Now, let's look at the most traded out plays. And yeah, look at it. that, Matt Seaves. It is full of St. Kilda and Doggy and Collingwood what? players. What? Why? So and many. And they're all in their buy. Now, the only one that's not in their buy that's most traded is Tom Powell. Mm-hmm. Natty? Yeah, but Is there it? any reason to keep Tom Powell? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Is man. there any way I could convince you to keep Tom Powell for another week? Um, I'm going to have to keep him because... Really? Oh, Tom Powell. I thought you meant Tom Green. No, Tom Powell is gone. Good. He is, there's All no right. chance. There's no chance. I'm actually surprised he only lost 18K, which was great. Tom uh, Brown is also <coughs> another one. Will Dawson, everyone's getting rid of. And another one of your former primos, Jack McRae, who's lost another 14K Champs, this Tom. week. What a dud. Is there any way Tom Powell or Jack McRae can turn around, Matty? Jeff, I don't think there's any chance right now. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, Carl Warner, now this is the most traded in player. Is Carl Warner, the only rookie on their bubble that scored a, a decent score. Dane Zorko, everyone's got in after the 20K price drop. Zach Merritt, the most traded in premium other than Zorko. Showmaker's coming in nice and early. Everyone loves his job security. Uh, Billy Dowling. <laughs> Jack Hutchinson, 102K player who scored 11. Luke Jackson, everyone's jumping on. What do you think about that, Matt Seeves? Jeff, they need a... They need to finish off their four line with someone. Definitely. Now, Sayad Al-Hawali is also coming in despite his six or the eight-week injury. I was thinking about getting him in too. Because of the DPP? Yeah. Exactly, because if you had him instead of Warner, you could do some DPP. Well, that's what I might be getting instead of Warner, so... But why would... Yeah, okay. This is exactly why we're talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But it's got, this is just more of a flexibility for my team to finish it off. But if, if Al Zahawa is not coming in this week, he'll come in next week. Houston, who got 170, Matty. Would you love a Houston in your team right now? I would love a Houston in my team last week, not right now. Like last week. Now, right now he's... Uh, well, he only went up 8K besides getting 170. So he's ready to <coughs> he's ready for the pickings. And I wouldn't be getting Kruger. He looked horrible out there. And I wouldn't be surprised if he got dropped. My check, he's coming back a week after. So my check and doing go should be available for selection. Yeah, crew didn't nail some pretty pivotal goals. And now last quarter, now Matt Zeebs. We've done all that. Now we get to do the funnest segment of the round. What's that, Geordie shit team? Look at our shit teams now. Geordie shit team, let's have a look, champ. I need to talk to you about your shit team, champ. Now you, let's have a look, champ. Geordie shit team's up, champ. How do you feel about bringing one of the most expensive players and he's got his shit of score of the year by at least 60 points lower than his average? That's Luke Ryan. Jordy paid top dollar. 66666 mm-hmm. six, 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 six for a Luke Ryan. James, you should have just waited. He already dropped a lot of money already. Well, he's coming off his buy. You say I'm a tight ass, but I paid for two 600k premiums this week, Maddie. So. Two 600k premiums for who was your second one? Why Zorko? Zorko. Jordy got in Zorko. Champ, now, questions asked. Like a lot of people waited, and obviously, would you would you rather take the one forty last week and save twenty thousand, or get him rather take the one forty? But you don't know that he was going to score at one forty. Do we not know? I, th- I thought he was going to score one forty in the first quarter when he was on seventy. Yeah, but anyway, he, <laughs> he only got like what, thirty points, thirty points in the points last, half, the last so. half. But anyway, it was worth it. Champ, what are you going to do this week, Champ? You got Frazier, you got Garcia's. I think Frazier and Garcia are definitely on the chopping block now. They've made their money. Time to go find Chant. myself a rookie. Is that, are you waiting for David Swallow to like burst that into the seams? Or? I'm just waiting for him to get a full game out. You saw already done in one quarter with a 40 point quarter. So, Chad, what did he score in his play, champ? So, is he, wow, 2 3, champ. 2 3 for a David Swallow, guys. This is Michael Basement Prices there from Jordy. Um, he's made you 40K, hasn't he? Yeah, uh, 50K. Pretty good, Jules. Pretty good, champ. Oliver coming back. Is he to- Oliver, Tom Green, and Dawson? Are you happy with those four premiums that you got in your team chat? Bont, Sarong, Butters, and Goulden? I'm happy with those guys. Yeah, even I mean, Goulden. Yeah, Goulden, I'm happy I with felt Goulden. Goulden got a bit robbed of it for the weekend. Um, 35 touches. Anything over 100 at this stage, yeah, I'm taking it. You're taking it. Chap, Nick Martin. What about him? He didn't even play last week. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. Like Nick Martin. He's averaging 102. Is what he, do you want? 
No, he's not averaging 100. He's, he's averaging 102.8. So. Okay, his last three games, what's he averaging? Okay, you tell me, champ. Probably like 84. <laughs> Probably like 84. You don't think he's even scored below 84 last nah, three games? Nah, he's pretty cucks. Um, champ, Whitfield, good pickup. Copy in Zeebs. Well uh, done, yeah, so well I pick, pick up a player and I'm copying you. God, you oh, old champ. You picked up so many players copying me. Anyway. Um, no, hey, champ. I'm copying you. How come I'm doing better than you? Because you're cancelling out the bit of... So the, I'm better than so you. So you're cancelling out the PODs so you could be... Anyway, champ, I know you how you think. Uh, <laughs> I'm your players. I'm going to get pal. Champ, you had pal. You weird. <laughs> you had him. <laughs> you had pal in your team. Oh, you're such a fucking... <laughs> did you not have pal in your team? I did, but I traded him out. Yeah. When I saw you were you shit. When you saw you were shit. Why did I copy your McRae? Champ, you were laughing at my McRae. I know, I'm laughing. Everyone was laughing at, was laughing at McRae. But anyway, Champ, no, it's not too much of a shit team. It scored pretty well. You brought in Rankin this week, didn't you? Anyway, so I brought I in Luke Ryan and Zorko and a shitty Kruger. And I brought in a... We're going to talk about you okay. when we're in your shit I'm team. I'm done. That's all right, Champ. You scored well. Well done. Well done? You like it? Yeah, I like Do it. you like me being in... I like Butter's 76s, though. That was pretty Yeah, heavy. you liked that, didn't you? I loved it. Yeah, it you like, would. Yeah, yeah. I was going to get him in last week. Oh, oh, this good. week, remember? But lucky I didn't, Champ. I put it on Rankin. He's going to get another hard tight tag this week. Oh, but yeah. let's uh, go to Matty's shit team. Can we go to your shit team now? You're done with my team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right, good. Jay, off right. you go, Tony. Let's, let me find this shit team first. If I'm going to go to look <laughs> right in the bottom of the toilet to find this team. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Matty's shit team. It's Matty. It's the shit. Charlie Dean, is he out this week? He, I will be trading Charlie Dean out, yes. Fuck. Wouldn't it be, now I see sex in your back line. Wouldn't it be perfect? If we just saw Sexton line up in the forward line, now that power's back. Ooh, that would be so good for That would be so good. I hope he gets a 30. Um, Matty, Jack Steele. Wow. Can't take a trick, can he? But he cannot. 83, and now he's on his bye. Are you looking forward to the 70 he's going to score you when he comes back? I uh, don't know if I'll be in my team when he comes back. Mm, mm, interesting. Now, Took Miller, he's got a tight tag coming back. What do you think he can pump out this week, Matty? Uh, 114. <laughs> Who are they playing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's just the... Ooh. They're playing play free mouth? Now, Maddie, this bench of Will Dawson, Darcy Jones, and Livingston, what's happening there? <laughs> they now, are just making me So like there's me. three zeros there, right? Now, mm. you want to, like, maybe trade out someone in your back line and have Marty Hoare and Warner. And if Warner gets dropped, is your mission just to get all zeros on your bench? I think it is. Now, Garcia, yeah, he's probably not going to get a game. How's he long? How's nah, he's, he's saying there? He's just, they're all loopholes in for the Beauty. ball, I champ. Absolutely. Um, all right, now. So I've got 150K in the bank. So Dean and um, Sullivan will go for Walsh and Warner. Um, Slow down. So, All right, so you're getting rid of Sullivan. Getting rid of Sullivan. You're getting rid of Powell. Yes. Oh, you're getting rid of Dean. Oh, yeah. So getting rid of Powell, that will make Sixton go all the way down in the forward line. Yep. Because um, I've got, you can still see there's Young in the midfield. He'll go back in the back line. Um, and then I'll probably get a Walsh. So depending on Joe Clark's scores, that still will turn into a yo. Um, and then next week, will be that old Harvey so I can switch them all in the back. So um, the back of the mid will have a premium cover on the bench while my Who's forward... covering the forward line? That's right. That's, that, that's the that's the scary thing. I need to find a mid forward, probably a dry cold rally, if and when I can afford him. Hopefully dry cold. i got a question for you, champ. Yeah. Say Rankin misses a week. Mm-hmm. I know, right? Reason. I know. Okay, I know. There's Is no... Will Dawson coming in or Darcy Jones Jeff, coming in? what does your in? bench look like? Um, I got swallowed. <laughs> wow, you got, got swallowed. Swallow Kruger. Oh, champ, yeah, and they're both going to get dropped if not get subbed. So, champ, I'm Maddie, not... well, at least they can get dropped and have something, unlike Darcy Jones and Will Dawson, who are both currently champ, da- out for da- a while. Will, Will Dawson is literally a, lo- a swapping for Sexton and perfect, back line. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get off of Maddie's shit team. All right, all right. <laughs> for Maddie's shit fucking team. Now, champ, I'm going to ask you. So, your final <laughs> defense is going to be Ryan Dacos, Sheasel, Dale, Whitfield, and Young. Okay, that's... And Yo. And Yo. And where's Yo just going to be in the mid-bench? Yeah. Okay, so... And your final midfield's going to be Bont, Sarong, Merritt, Miller, Green... Walsh. Walsh and who? Um, Well, Yo Yo will be in there too. So there might be a player that will be defence mid. And then your final forward line is going to be Flanders, Heaney, Zorko, Rankin, Jackson and... Sexton at the moment. Amazing. Uh, now, have you thought if Sexton becomes a forward and starts playing shit? Well, Sexton's 400 odd thousand, so it'll be easy to get him into a player. So, that's, okay. That's still good. Perfect. Yeah, that's beautiful, mate. I love that. That's, that's a very nice team. There we go and give it up for Matty's Thank team. Thank you, everybody. Don't worry, champ. You're burning your trades like you're. Champ, don't burning... we have the same amount of trades? Yeah, but you've got like. Yeah, but your you, premiums you are so far from complete. How many, how many more players do you need to get into your team before it's a full primo? 
I just have two players right now before doing any trades. And if I get a merit in this week, I need one player. And how many trades would you have left? Four. After the three? And yes. you'll have one? Okay. So is cool, that cool. now you know, now you're thinking, oh, okay. I'm, yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm yeah, a bit yeah. of trouble now. You're, you're, you're in a bit of trouble. <laughs> you're in a bit of I'm trouble. Really a bit of After four trouble. trades, how many premiums do you need? So you're going to do your three trades. None. You're going to need none. So none. you're just assuming Sexton. And well, Sexton at, at, a D, at a F6 is just as good as anyone else. Matty, you last... talk a lot of shit, but your team speaks louder than you. any word you say. Champ, what's wrong with Sexton being at F6? No, it's good. No, I know. I know it's good. You know why? It's great. Yeah, tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> You're a complete cocksucker, Champ. That's thank what, you, that's buddy. What, that's what you are, Champ. No, guys, what thank you. you. Think, what do you think Alex has been averaging his last three games, Champ? Was uh, when, four games? Is that when Power was in or out of the team? Out of two. Okay, so when Power's out of the team, I imagine he'll be getting at least 100. You reckon? I would hope so. No, okay. Nineties. Even though. Anyway, that's enough about that, Maddie. Sure. So obviously we're in a position where we're keeping greens, all of Oh yeah, they're in. Maybe not Steels and Dawson's, but we'll we'll come back to that now. He's averaging ninety five in his last five rounds, but anyway. <laughs> Who's averaging that? Sexton. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Good job, mate. Go Sexos! All right, guys. This is Oh, the captain! Champ, the captains! Champ's pretty fucking easy, isn't it? You'd think of Max Gorn Vice for me. Champ, that Sherry is a monster. Champ, Sherry is not going to be a captain choice. Okay, so it looks like Butters is going to get a berry tag. That's not nice. Um, it d- looks like Heaney will probably get a Bedford tag. Or maybe Warner. That would be nice. Uh, okay, so well, Gorn against North Melbourne. Merritt against, Merritt against the Perth. Eagles. Uh and then you got a range of Gold Coast and Freo players against. So you're, really, you're taking out a few. Do you think Sarong is is due for a big game? Come on, he's had a big game for a while. And I think Gold Coast is the one of the only teams that won't tag because mm-hmm. of their midfield. Because their midfield. So I in wouldn't range. mind that, but Maddie, it'd be hard to go past the Gorn Merritt situation, wouldn't it? I agree. Is there any smoky pods you can muster? I don't up? know. Like you think Welsh against a depleted Geelong team, but then you got the the worry of the tag of O'Connor, Butters. They both tag each other, so if you've got Neil or Butters, they both got strong taggers in that team. Oof, that's not going to be a nice um, one to watch. James Jordan, you know, Tom Green champ, is he due for a good good score? James Jordan's not. going to go right to him, buddy. Yeah. Um, James Jordan will go right to Tom Green. Well, hopefully Cali. Champ, but- what do you think Oliver's going to score now that he's the only sole midfielder and they've got taggers like Will Phillips and Shields? And they're both old idiots, Shields and Oliver. Do you think Oliver's going to get over an 80 this week? You can only hope. You can only, you can only hope. hope because you, you, even on Oliver's best game, all you those might people not get thinking, all those people think, oh my god, yeah, drug is out of this opportunity. Is North gonna tag and some other? Probably. Place? I mean, is, like if you Clarko, would you think Oliver's worth the tag? So to me, like you, like you said, Sherry's a beast, but Max Gorn, I don't know, you can or can't probably get 150 or probably get an 80. I just see North. I think as, I, I think out of the midfielders, Chef, do you think Merritt and Sarong are probably the best choices to? I think Merritt for sure. Sarong will still live. Is Ryan going to bounce back? He played a role that was so disgusting. Like, usually he's the deepest one in the box, and then he's kicking out either left or right, where we've got two kind of wingers that have been pushing up, or your halfback flankers. He was not the deepest. He was like on one of those sides. He was like on the yeah, right. R- r- so who was right side? Who was living the ball? So it looked like, like it's a different stage. It was different people. It was looked like even that that Warner was even fullback. I'm sort of deepest at a couple of times kicking it out. And Luke Ryan, I think, had less than fifty percent of the kickouts for Fremantle, which is completely different. Unlike so it. whatever horse manure, long manure, long mire. They, for this shit, for a man who quote, surely they realised, okay, we got smashed by probably one of the most biggest margins we had this year. And they put Ryan in a completely different role. They've done those switches that they usually do back and forth maybe once. I saw Ryan done it once in the second quarter when he got like 30 points for it. And I'm like, good. And that's the only time they did it. And then, kind of, so look, I can't trust Ryan after Mm -hmm. that new role. So it would definitely be a merit and maybe a Gorn, Maddie. And it's the wrong, maybe? Sarong's true for sure, I think. Yeah. I mean, back at Perth, it's it's fine, but I don't know. I'd rather go on. Nice, over, nice sunny afternoon. But it's, it's been, I, can't, I don't know. If, if it's me, is it does feel like it's been a while since Sarong has scored a big score? Because let's have a look, Matty. So while. his last couple of games, now check that he hasn't had a captain score in five weeks. So oh, yeah. 96, 102, 91, 118, and 150. Jesus. So. It's been five weeks before he's had a score worth captaining. So mm. uh, it's a bit of a smoky one there. Now, I would rather... What about Flander Residues? 
<laughs> uh, probably not because power's back. So anyway, I hope that helps. Zorko, not even. He's got the um, he's got Port Adelaide, so you never know when McKenty can go to him. I don't think he will. <laughs> McKenty's, yeah. Anyway, no, it's it looks one. like it looks like it's it's the can... obvious champ. Go on to Merritt. If you don't have him, get him in. I think Merritt's probably the smartest no brainer there is, and but it's a great week to pick a POD captain because everyone's going to be like you know oh, Merritt, well, without the Bonson and Dacos as well. What's he going to do? Like Corn's obviously there. Um, no English is either. Anyway, champ, we're done. I think we are done, champ, and it's so good nice to see you. Yeah, now, what, what did you do for gym today? You skipped gym, didn't you? I skipped gym because I had a really good sleep in. That's about it. That's so it, chat. All right, chat. I need to go home. See you later. Thank you so Take much, chat. See everybody. Sarah, Sarah thanks for shooting in. If you make it to next week, we've got a surprise for you. I won't tell you. All right, see you guys. <laughs>